Hey everybody, today we are going to see what are the major differences between torts and crimes. Number one, a tort is a civil wrong arising from the breach of duty, whereas crimes are criminal offenses against the society. Number two, a tort is a private wrong against a particular individual, whereas crimes are the violation of public rights and duties. Number three, private person takes action, that is the affected private party or plaintiff files a suit for remedy against the defendant. In cases of crimes, state through police takes the action. Number four, civil court hears the cases and common law governs the determination of compensation in case of torts, but in case of crimes, criminal court hears the case. There is separate legislation called IPZ and other legislations are also available in cases of crimes. Number five, compensation is the remedy in cases of torts, whereas punishment is by way of fine and imprisonment in cases of crimes. Number six, no proof of mens rea needed against a defendant in cases of torts. But presence of mens rea must be proved against the offender for punishing him, punishing him in cases of crimes. Number seven, the defendant gets no benefit of doubt in cases of torts, but in cases of crimes, the accused gets the benefit of doubt. Number eight, the parties are allowed to compromise in all cases of torts, whereas chances for compromise is almost nil in cases of crimes. Number nine, only the plaintiff can release the defendant by withdrawing his claim or compromising with him in cases of torts. Generally, crime is not a pardonable offense. It is pardoned under certain circumstances by the sovereign power only. Number 10. Burden of Proof Burden of Proof changes from plaintiff to defendant and vice versa depending upon the nature of evidence in cases of torts, whereas in crimes, the honest probandi or burden of proof is always on the prosecution. Number 11. In case of death of a tort feeser, his legal representatives can be sued except in some cases like defamation, assault, etc. But death of an offender puts an end to prosecution in cases of crimes.